Hey everyone, it's me, Donna. Okay, I'm making this video to talk more about my idea for if, by chance, we don't get a lottery in the state of Alabama, there is a good alternative, I think. Um, currently, right now, there is a bill that is going through the House and the Senate that if it does passes, then we, the people, will be allowed to vote in November as to whether or not we want a lottery. I think we should get one because everywhere around us has one, and it would just be so much better than having to go across the state just to get lottery tickets. Uh, just, you know, like really. And as far as people being worried about gamblers, there's going to be gamblers everywhere. There's going to be people that are addicted. People are addicted to so many things. Uh, you know, naturally, I think there should be programs set up along with it to, um, you know, to... To where they can have like their meetings and, 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 you know, try to find ways to, to not be, uh, addicted to help fight it or whatever. Uh, and of course we all got to play responsibly and, and all that type of thing. Uh, but that aside, um, like I said, there is a way around it. Okay. Um, like I have mentioned before, Alabama could, Create a system to where you actually purchase something. When you're purchasing the ticket, you would actually be purchase, purchasing a product, uh, whether it be a digital product, like a fictitious digital product or whatever. That's the way around it. That would be the perfect solution because then it would, you know, it'd be considered a sweepstakes and not a lottery. And even though to us, it would be a lottery, especially if they offered different jackpots, different things, just like the same thing with these scratch offs, these non winning scratch offs right here. Um, but yeah, if, um, if they offered that, but yet you're actually making a purchase when you purchase a scratch off ticket like this or a pull sta a pull tab ugh, pull tab or a um a drawing style ticket if you're actually purchasing something then it's not considered gambling or considered a lottery it's considered a sweepstakes okay so for instance if they set a system up to where you can adopt a tree uh, whether it be a fictitious tree or a real tree or however the state would want to do it they could create a website, and when you buy your ticket, that's what you're doing. You're buying a, a, you're adopting a tree, okay? And on the website, you can go, if you want to, you can sign up and create you an account. And when you enter the, the code on the back of that ticket, it, uh, you, then you become, uh, an adopt, uh, an adopter <laughs> of, you know, said tree and it will show you and like each tree could have so many people adopt it and then they move on to the next tree and so on and so forth, you know, that type of thing. Um, or, you know, maybe you could pick out the tree that you want. Like, you know, if there's so many blank spaces left, you can say, okay, well, I want to be, I want to adopt that tree, you know, however they want to do it. Um, they could do that. That way the state is out less money. Okay. Because, you know, technically you are purchase, purchasing a product, but yet they're not really out too much money. They don't have to actually make the product other than create the website, create the the fictitious trees or take pictures of a real tree or whatever. Uh, you know, they pay people to do that. Okay. But yet it's less expensive to do it that way. Okay. And you know, they don't have to actually deal with a physical product, okay? They don't have to warehouse it. They don't have to deal with all that type of costs, okay? It's, you know, it, it's a lot easier and simple. Uh, and, and they can come up with all kinds of things, whether it be adopt a zoo animal, adopt a star, adopt a cloud, adopt a mountain. I mean, you name it. There could be all kinds of things that you could adopt. Okay, different themes that they could create to go along with their tickets and all that type of thing. Okay, that would be wonderful. Okay, and, and like I said, it would be less expensive for the state to do it that way. Okay, but also another thing that they could do is add points. Like when you buy your ticket, it, you have like a little color coded po uh, points on it, depending on the, the, the price of the ticket. Okay. 
that will determine how many points you have. And then on your account, you will build up points. And with those points, you can purchase uh, when they finally do create a store or uh, you know, whether it be a store with apps and or toys, uh, you know, just different things, maybe kind of lower uh, in things at first. And then as more money builds up, then they can add more expensive items but then of course you know you naturally you have to have like a whole lot of points <laughs> build up to ever get that uh in other words um the balance between like if you were to take that same amount of money you could probably get two or three items of this you know for that that same money whereas you could only get one if you go to if you do it that way okay but i mean that's just the way it is i mean in order for them to make money things would have to be overpriced and all that stuff, okay? That's just the the technical uh, reality of it, okay? So, because the goal is for the state to make money, okay, off of this uh, and use it for whatever it's set up for, okay? I think that would be, you know, the way to go uh, to, to start it out. And then also, like I mentioned, like the drawing style, like each month or each every so many months, um, they can have a, uh, a jackpot that you can get, you can go and either pick out your numbers or do a quick pick or whatever. Uh, and they can print you out a thing with your numbers on it. And then, uh, the jackpot can gradually grow. Like they already have it set up. They already know how much it's going to, uh, increase and you can just kind of watch it increase each week or whatever until it gets to a certain amount and then they can have their drawing and if you have the winning number then you win and the good thing about all of these tickets is uh, uh which is another good way to get around the whole uh, gambling thing is if they offer the um the self-addressed stamped envelope entry to where like if you send that then you can get a free entry into the sweepstakes okay uh like maybe uh once a day or once a week or, or however they do it and you have to be specific like you have to state like and it would tell you on the back which uh, sweepstakes you're entering and all that and then they can send you uh your your entry and if it's the drawing style then they'll send you the numbers if it's the scratch offs or whatever they'll just send you like a little thing maybe you can scratch it off maybe you can pull the tab off or whatever um to where you get in the 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 sweepstakes but on those i don't think they should add the points like the points should just be specifically for the people that purchase a ticket okay that would be like an, a little added bonus or whatever but the actual entry you will get it so that way uh it can be fair just like anything else and i think it should be fair and it should be legit i think that if you do go the free route and you uh send for a ticket uh through the mail then you should have just as much chance to win as someone who bought uh who who, who uh, adopted a tree <laughs> okay so that's how I think that it could be ran. Uh, personally, I would like to see healthcare be considered as far as what the money will be used for. I mean, naturally, yes, it needs to be uh, a certain amount needs to go to the schools because schools are important and we need Alabama schools need the money. OK, uh, but uh, also, I think healthcare. Uh, I think us poor people out there sure would like to have uh, some type of something to help us with healthcare cost. Uh, it would be neat if there could be a debit card up to a certain amount uh, for people who make below a certain amount. Uh, it, you know, it will be uh, according to your income. It will be based on your income. And you can take that money, and it's only for medical purposes. It can only be used at qualified medical facilities. And you can use it, whether it be for uh, teeth, um, like dental stuff, or glasses, or doctor visits, or uh, hospital visits, or whatever. Uh, it could be used that for that. And uh, the deal is, once you use the money, it's gone. Like, it's gone. 
okay, for that year, okay? And then whatever you don't use doesn't roll over. It just gets thrown back into the system, okay? And then um, you can just re-sign up each year. Like you create your account and you re-sign up each year and they add more to your card each year. And that's how that would run basically in my opinion or they could create an insurance system uh, because we all know the Obamacare thing was crap uh, I knew it from the start um, because I know about the whole universal health care system that people tried to get in but yet people like Obama and their buddies and all that didn't want that because that actually involves real free health care for people uh so no that was a no-no so instead they want to keep the health care uh people in the business being the middleman and we all see how that jacked up health care for a lot of people but we won't get into that but the thing is Alabama chose when Obamacare came out, Alabama chose not to get on board with that. And therefore, people in Alabama, even though their health care went up, the people that could afford it, unfortunately, it got sucked up in the whole system and people were paying like triple or more what they used to pay for health care. But then the poor people still didn't get anything. And you know, they're still struggling, except for children, children who, uh, you know, qualify or whatever, you know, they would get like Medicaid or whatever, but just your average poor person in general, um, <laughs> good luck. Um, so I think we, we should use this money for that. Okay. So I, I think that would be a really good idea. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to get off my whole soapbox, but I just wanted to talk and elaborate, uh, did I mention about the apps uh, also on the website? Um, I think it would be neat it, uh, on the uh, sweepstakes website uh, is if people could purchase apps, you know, a as it grows, as the whole thing, you can use your points to purchase things. Okay. And you can purchase apps and, and, you know, you, you remember those little bubble popping things, little apps or whatever, uh, they could have that, they could have games, they could have all kinds of things. And there could be a few people that make money that create these apps. That would be a little uh, money that they can make off the whole thing. Okay. Uh, so yeah, there's, there's just so much that could be done that would skirt around the whole, uh, lottery thing. So it's not like, in my opinion, if people, if, if, uh, you leaders out there are listening, uh, if you use your mind and we don't get a lottery, do this. And then the good thing about this is that it can be molded into uh, a new system to where is if like, if one day we do get a lottery, they can just, uh, mold this, the same people who were behind this, uh, sweepstakes can mold it into the lottery. Like, you know, we get the regular games that they create for the lottery, but also things that were working with this system, say like adopt a tree or adopt whatever, uh, that might can still stay in place and just certain other things. And then like the website, uh, same thing. I mean, they can keep the point system. They can, you know, so, I mean, it's not like it would hurt anything if they got this started, if they, if they went ahead and went with the sweepstakes thing, um, if we did get a lottery later on, it would not hurt anything. You just mold things around. That's all you got to do. So that's my opinion on it. But anyway, I just thought I'd talk a little more about it and bore some people out there. But anyway, we'll talk to you later. Bye.